Obesity is a significant public health problem. It affects one in three adults in the UK. We've known for some time that there is a link um, between the body clock um, and disruption of that body clock and risk of metabolic disorders. But what I'm hoping that my research will contribute to is a deeper understanding of the mechanisms by which the proteins that make up the molecular clock can regulate important metabolic processes in tissues such as fat tissue and the liver, for example. My name's Louise Hunter, I'm a clinician, an endocrinologist, um, and I'm also a scientist here at the University of Manchester. My research is trying to understand more about the behaviour of our fat storage cells, our adipocytes, and how their biology and their response to the challenge of obesity is regulated by one of our body clock proteins. I do experiments where I try and work out um, what that protein is doing in terms of how it's changing um, expression of certain genes, where it's binding to the DNA and how it's influencing the behaviour of the rest of the cell. Further on in my project, I'm planning to take some of my work into working with human volunteers and working with human tissue samples. When people have obesity, it can put them at increased risk of certain conditions such as type 2 diabetes, fatty liver, it can even increase risk of certain cancers. And that's one of the reasons why obesity is such a problem. It might not be the obesity itself, but it's the risk of other diseases that it brings with it. So trying to understand how that risk comes about is really important. When we're trying to help people with obesity, it would be really nice to be able to do that in a way that's really tailored to them. So understanding what their risks are. The other direction in which I think this field could expand is in that deeper understanding of the body clock. The molecular clock is a timekeeping mechanism present in all the cells of our body. We know it's really important, but how does that translate to human health? Can we get our knowledge of the body clock to a point where we can really effectively exploit that knowledge to improve human health? As a clinician, I want my research to be relevant to people and, and their health conditions, but we do really need to have a fundamental understanding of health and disease processes, and that needs discovery research.